What's up guys, in this video we're going to take a look at a cash game hand from Phil Helmuth. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? Tilt oh my juice. god. We're going to dive exactly into what happened to this big game hand, which was a TV show by PokerStars. My name is Lex Veltuis, and welcome to Lex Explains. So in the big game, a qualifier will be free rolled for $100,000 by PokerStars with the one stipulation that they could only take home profit. Now, this usually resulted in a qualifier playing a little bit tighter at the start, and if the deck didn't cooperate, uh, they would start loosening up as time went on. 150 hands a day were played, and then the session would be over. We see Martinez here, which is our loose cannon in this heat. And generally, you want to sort of isolate the loose cannon uh, to play against them. Uh, Phil Helmut generally this is one of the best thing, traps uh, and I would definitely advise like sort of like isolate here with ace nine because you have four people behind you so the hand's going to be very tough to play multi-way. Gail Perkins, 6-3 offsuit, why not? And it doesn't really have any good capabilities in terms of uh, playing so. By the kilogram. They waited and they said, oh, you but have they go like see a flop. Whatever they met and then Food in Italy. Yeah. All right, so Martinez flops an open and a straight draw. I think it's uh, important to mention that the big blind is in Bill Perkins, as his hand proves he can have a lot of different cards. So this is a terrible board to be bluffing on. Tell me it's with nothing but ace high. Which is exactly why I don't like this bluff. Oh, Joe, he's got every backdoor draw imaginable. <laughs> That's true, he does have some backdoor draws. He does have an ace of diamonds and a nine in his hand. This is one of the first times we saw Perkins on TV, which is great. All right, so Martinez starts with a check. I like it. Not gonna go anywhere, there's no reason to raise, because if you get re-raise, you might get blown off your hand, and you have a great hand. Heads up to the turn. He goes along. Should be pretty dicey for Helmuth, because I don't think that Martinez is just gonna call with ace-jack, for instance, so he has to have some piece of it. This actually improves Helmuth's hand, so he's gonna fire at it. 12,800. Which is pretty good, so, you know, he could put some pressure on ace-5, ace-6, ace-4, ace-7. Or even pocket-5s or pocket-6s. You fold, I win. I know. You fault, I win. You can probably understand complete sentences. <laughs> Great card for Martinez, of course. Makes top pair. I mean, Helmuth can be betting tons of stuff uh, uh, for value that's weaker, you know, like an eight. Don't think he's gonna bet a seven on this uh, on this turn, and that's pretty significant going into the river. As the river's a seven, looks like he's thinking about betting it. Past forty thousand, and now Martinez's gonna lead it. I don't like this necessarily that much. You're really depending on your opponent to bluff. Diamonds miss. Some gut shots miss as well on the river if, if Helmut had a five or six somehow. So you're really depending on a bet, but he's going to lead out on it. Trying to block some maybe bigger raise bets it. that Helmut could be making. 45,000. And Helmut goes for the raise. It's a stringy, it's pretty strong play. Height just calls. So this raise is pretty polarizing, which means either full house or nothing. It's a very tough spot for Max. He's the one guy at the table. I do think he can have five, six, jack he nine. He was wrong. Both he make sense. Less than 25k. I know what almost every other loose cannon would do in this spot. Please don't have forceful. I think that's a little bit of a Fuck weird comment by Helmuth because he's saying that a full house uh, beats him. Go. So he's saying that he could have a straight, but he doesn't have a seven because you never bet the turn with a seven. There's absolutely no need, right? You're only gonna get called by better, and it's too go good forth? to bluff with. I might have forceful. I might not. I don't think Helmuth okay, is doing call. himself any favors by the good table call. talk. And he calls. And that's a really good call for Martinez, though, to follow through with a call. That's really impressive, especially for that oh stage. Oh my god, what is going on? What is going on? Tilt oh my juice! God. Get the tilt juice out for everyone. Tilt juice, indeed. I mean, I think that uh, Helmuth made a good read in the sense that uh, Martinez actually wasn't leading that strong. He was check calling all the way. So it's a good move by him. He blocks some straights. He has a nine, uh, all that stuff. Um, I actually don't think his table talk helped him in that uh, particular moment. Uh, but really well played by Martinez. And of course, it's always uh, fun to see big pots with the Helmuth either on winning or losing hands. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about this hand. Of course, next week is going to be another episode. Make sure you sub to the channel so you don't miss any. My name is Lex Veltas, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.